today is the Director of Solid Waste Services here in our community. Please welcome David Layfelt here to talk about and celebrate June 5th, World Environment Day. We're going to learn a little bit about recycling here in the Coastal Bend. Thank you, David, for joining me today. My pleasure to be here. So first question is, I personally in my community do not have a recycle bin, which I understand is because we do not connect with the city. We have a private, um, a private business that does that. Tell me how people are able to obtain a recycle bin if they need one. Also, what is the process of recycling here in the Coastal Bend for anyone who's kind of a beginner and wants to help? Right. Everybody who is a customer of Corpus Christi should already have a recycle bin uh, along with their trash bin. If they don't, they can simply call our, our city number and, and request one and we'll deliver it promptly. If one's not enough, uh, we will provide a second bin at no additional charge for recycling. Uh, the recycling program is what we call single stream recycling. We accept a variety of products, uh, your bottles, your plastic bottles, plastic tubs, uh, paper, all your cardboard, tin and aluminum uh, can be placed in that one blue bin. We collect them once every other week and haul them to a recycling processor. Okay, and at that point, what happens to those items? I'm sure you have to go through things that may have been misconstrued as recyclable. Um, how do you process through that and where does it go? Okay, we, we've got a company here in town that we've hired to do our processing for us. And you're right, there is a lot in the blue bins that uh, shouldn't be there. About uh, almost 30% of our material in the blue bins is trash mm -hmm. and has to be hauled to the landfill. Uh, what's left, they run through a sorting line. They separate out the different types of plastic. They separate out the different types of paper. The aluminum cans, they bale it together and then they ship it off uh, to a processor. They basically sell it out on the open market. Right now, many of the products have no value. In fact, paper, we're having to pay people to recycle it for us in addition to our processing charges. Mm -hmm. And the world economy on plastic is really uh, in bad shape right now. Most of the plastic products are not uh, easily recyclable under the current market conditions and a lot of it's being shipped to Southeast Asia. Uh, so what is something that we can do besides recycling to help our environment? Well, the, the city of Corpus Christi is currently uh, planning and uh, getting ready to implement a composting facility. Uh, the composting facility would be a local operation that processes materials locally. Uh, it takes all of the organic waste that currently creates uh, methane and greenhouse gases Mm -hmm. processes it differently and allows us to uh, create a good soil amendment here in town while re reducing the greenhouse gas emissions from uh, the organic waste. Nice, so that's something that we can all look forward to and uh, definitely a topic that I'm wanting to learn more about is composting as well. So there is so much to talk about, definitely a lot of items that may be um, commonly either overlooked or commonly recycled without a need to. Where can we go for more information to make sure that we are recycling properly? Well, the city has a great app. It's called the Recycle Coach app. You can pull it up, you can uh, get it off uh, your iPhone or your cell phone. Uh, it's a free app, it's called Recycle Coach. Uh, you type in your address, and once you have that app, it will tell you what can be recycled locally. It can tell you where you can take it. It tells you when your recycle day is. It's full of information on the local scene, and we've, we've got a lot of people currently using it, but that's a, a resource that everybody in town can download. Like I said, it's free to use, and it has it's a wealth of good information. Another location is the city website. We do have a lot of information on our we website. Uh, you go to uh, cctexas.com and, and uh, go to the solid waste page and, and there's a lot of information there. Wonderful. Well, I think we got a lot of useful information from this interview. We appreciate you celebrating World Environment Day with us by encouraging our viewers to do their part and save the environment by recycling. We look forward to talking with you again. I want to learn more about that compost project next time we visit. Great. Look forward to it.